Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Thanks for subscribing to all that have subscribed to this channel. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, it is very important that you give this video a thumbs up. I do appreciate each one of you guys that give this video a thumbs up. Share my videos and also leave a comment below. <laughs> Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Once I get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, I will do another giveaway. Um, hopefully, I think tomorrow I will do a video of the giveaway baby and I will be trying to ship that baby out um, soon. <laughs> Either Wednesday or Thursday. But I had to get my custom, my um, custom out, and so I had to c focus on that. So that baby is on his way to his mommy. Um, <laughs> this video is kind of funny because I've done so many different videos over the last couple days. Well, I ain't gonna say the last couple days, but you know, the last couple weeks, I've deleted probably about ten different videos. Um, some was short, some was long, but I've deleted them. And that is so funny because I think I'm back in this point where I'm like, I don't want to say anything to offend anyone. I don't want people to think I'm talking about them, you know, this, this. So, and then it's like, ah, oh, I said too much. Let me delete this. Da, 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 da. That's why I like to live an unfiltered life. You know, growing up, I was always the kid to say too much or do too much or and when I say that, meaning I would say stuff that people would be thinking and but just wouldn't say it. And, you know, maybe my family should have popped me or spanked me or, you know, told me that that was not OK instead of just saying, well, you know, that's just how she is. <laughs> because maybe I would have been a little bit, you know, more filtered. But anyway, um. So let me show you guys who's in the video and then I'm going to show you guys a little um, crazy uh, onesie haul, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know why I feel it in my spirit to <laughs> share it with you guys. All right. So the first two babies over here is um, Prototype Aspen uh, by Claire Tellum, painted by me. And well, all my babies are painted by me. And then... Um, you see uh, Baby Major, which is Sam by Gudrun Legler. And him is so sweet. They got on their matching little outfits. And guys, just real quick, here go to plug for you guys. Don't forget today is the last day to pre-order your kits for Abby and Aspen by Claire Teller. Go to her website, www.clairetellerdolls.com. And... <laughs> order your kits if you don't want to order from there because y'all know y'all be shady and just out of line and out of pocket go ahead and order <laughs> i'm just kidding that is so wrong go ahead and order from matt Pearson or um anywhere that is carrying the kit if that's what you prefer because girl sometimes yeah, i get it i get it girl but anyway so that today is the last day for the pre-order so moving right along that's baby Kingsley. He is the Gabby Gill Asleep, um, sculpted by Claire Teller and painted by myself. Um, one quick thing I really want to say about this baby, really quick. So he got on his. You guys seen another baby wearing this this little romper, but he looks absolutely lovely in blue. Um, one thing I want to say about him, I'm a, I need to prop his head up a little bit more. Let me use a another one of these little thingies um <laughs> all right yeah i don't know if that that was that worked out for you or not but one thing i want to say about um kingsley is that he for one he's waited like extremely amazing like he feels so amazing when i hold him um the other thing is i absolutely love the palms of his hands and his feet coloring and i, I just i i love him right 
but there was this you know there was this moment where I wasn't really bonding with him like I don't know like it's like me not wanting to gravitate to pick him up or dress him or whatever so he just stay posed in one spot but lately I don't know it's just something this little, he got his little toy there's just something about him that I've actually really been bonding with him so that's really good and I'm really excited about this so I'm loving him so you guys will see more of him and what he's wearing and stuff like that I think he just needs to be rooted but I gotta wait so um yeah so he when he gets rooted you know I think I'm definitely gonna love him even more but yeah so now you know he's a baby that I, I've picked up quite often lately um, off camera and that's another thing I've been dressing my babies off camera a lot um, because when I have a little bit of downtime I don't have enough time to really do a video but yet time enough for me to come on and I mean not come on but you know change my babies out and stuff and that's basically how I interact with my babies I change them and it's just something about when you you know changing them and then you pick them up and you pose them and stuff. I don't know I just love it so that's you know that's my thing um one of the things I wanted to address real quick because you know if you're new to following me or you don't really really watch me and know my petty behaviors then you really don't understand me fully so some stuff I do may annoy the hell out of you and you just you know I don't know but my thing is, is that I love my babies. I came into this hobby um, for the love of dolls and then the love of realism and then the love of art. So in that order. Um, and so everything I do is because I'm very passionate about it. So when I create or paint a baby and bring it to life, I fall in love with it. Um, some babies, you know, maybe the scope is something that I wouldn't have chosen or whatever the case, but during the process of me painting and stuff like that, somehow I connect myself to it because I'm pouring a little bit of me into that baby. So, um, usually, especially, especially if it's one that I did for myself and I'm like really, really in love with it but I'm being greedy because I'm a collector and I want to keep getting new babies and I'm not a rich collector and I don't have money like some of you guys do ain't nobody dying leaving me no thousands of dollars ain't nobody um sending me no whole bunch of uh, lottery money I don't got no fancy job no you know millionaire husband blah 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 so on and so forth whatever scenario you want to put in that box I work hard. I'm a single mom. I, you know, I do what I do. And, um, so with that being said, this hobby is very expensive, as you know. So a lot of times I have to sell my babies to get another baby. Or even to keep up with the fact that we're not going to even talk about the fact that I got, you know, probably like $2,000 worth of just blank kits sitting around here that I haven't been able to paint, you know, or, you know, or, and it's even more than that when you count in the silicone. I got, what, three full body silicone babies needing to be painted. Is it three, two, two? I got one, two, three, four, four or five silicone babies here that needs to be painted. You know, so I'm sitting here with all this money just sitting around. So sometimes I be like, oh, I'm just going to sell a baby. You know, one of the ones that I'm connected to, I don't care. I'm just going to sell it out, just make another one later or so-and-so will replace that baby. And then, you know emotions click in and I'd be like oh never mind but if somebody contact me with the money that I'm asking for right away and say they want it I sell the doll regardless of how my feelings are but if you're one of those people that think you're gonna inbox me and make up your own um payment plan or you're gonna sit and you're gonna tell me how I'm gonna sell my doll or you're going to lowball me or tell me you know oh well I know you want $800 for the doll, but I'm going to give you $250 plus shipping. Ma'am, I'm going to be like, no. And then that's going to be like, then I'll be later like, you know what? I'm not going to sell the doll. So don't be mad at me because it don't work out or because I'm indecisive and I'm an impulsive 
person. That's my problem. That's my weakness. And so I don't need you trying to throw like little side shade in the comment sections or, you know, telling everybody that, you know, I'll never want to sell my babies because guess what? Everybody already know that that followed me. <laughs> I'm a hot mess and I know it and I, I, I accept that and I need you to either accept it or move the hell on because guess what it is what it is and I ain't gonna change I'm about 100 years old now baby I'm setting my ways child listen so anyway that's it for that but speaking of impulsive behavior I don't know why but if something is on sale I have an issue where not walking away and I just feel like I just have to, to sell it. I mean, buy it because it's on sale. And I'm like, can't miss a good sale. So I bought these a while back. And you guys have seen. Oh, they connected. Hold on. Um, you have seen. I think it's only two of them that haven't been. Well, one that haven't been put on. Maybe they wore all them. But I put these back on the hangers. But you guys seen these little um, tank top like. Uh onesies for boys i bought these a while back um from carter's so the babies have to have full arms to wear this um a lot of times too i usually buy these more for my silicone babies and stuff so i don't have to worry about the cloth but um at aspen and um major have wore these before then I bought these, which I haven't used yet, but these are definitely have to be for silicone because they are spaghetti strap. And you know, when you do spaghetti strap, um, that's the beauty of the full body silicones is that you don't have to worry about cloth at all with those because, um, they can wear this. See this to me will look cute. You know, sometimes I've seen people put t-shirts under it or something like that. Um, I'll be honest, like that defeats the purpose of the spaghetti strap. So I wouldn't buy that for a cloth body. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But I had to get those um, for my full body girl. So girls, I should say. Um, and then you guys see he's wearing the rest of these. Now, these are zero to three months, but they're more like a three to six month size, to be honest. Um, it's by Kylie and Dina um, brand or whatever that is. Um, so, this this is, uh, like I said, it says, let me show y'all. Wait. I don't know, but it says zero to three month, but child... This ain't no zero to three month, three month size. This is more like three to six month. But y'all might not know this, but I know this. I am expecting some bigger babies. So I got these because I figured they will be able to wear these cute little onesies. And y'all know I'm real, I'm real funny like that. So this say talk about cute. I thought that was cute. It took me a while in the store. Guys, I know I'm slow. I don't need nobody to tell me that. But I got in the store and I kept saying, why do, what is this? I, why would they put that? Like, that was just so stupid to me. It took me about two minutes to figure out, it's all oh, talk about, like talk. Because I'm like, taco, taco about, you know. So I'm like, oh, talk about, talk about, like talk about. Because I'm like, taco, talk about what? But anyway, so I thought that was cute. You know, the little food thing is a little vibe right now. So, um, definitely going to be cute on a little fat baby. You know, food, fat, you know, go together. No offense. But um, <laughs> then I love this, um, the over the rainbow, under the sea. So, I got some of these. Because I love my soft pinks. Look at that. Now, that don't even go together. Wells and rainbows. I mean, really, you ain't going to have no rainbows in the, under the sea. But anyway, whatever. Um, I just like the colors, to be honest. Because now that I look at that back, I hadn't, I didn't even look at the back onesie until just now. It's real stupid. It don't make sense. But, hey, that was their thing. They was trying to be different. Sometimes when you're different, you just, you know, you just do stuff. But then I got this one with the rainbow. And hearts and I love it 
So again, all these zero to three, and I got this just simply because of the color. And I think that's really cute. Now, so for those of you that may not know, um, number one, I have, um, who is that? Um, Cody Bear by Laura Tuta Ross. You guys will see that one shortly. <laughs> um, well, after I come back from my break, you guys will see that one. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to paint it on my break. But um, Laura, uh, Cody by, Bear by Laura Tuta Ross, I have two of those. So, I will be having two of those in my, in my collection. And also, I am going to be expecting the Benjamin by... Um, Natalie Blick, because y'all know your girl ordered her a couple of, a couple of, of those. A couple of. And um, don't worry about it. I got enough to where I'll sell at least one child. That's if you don't come, like, switching out on me. <laughs> then I might be like, it's time for sale. You don't know for real. Um, you know, Petty is my middle name. But, um, yeah, so I'm expecting those. Plus, I'm looking for me a toddler another toddler um girl and not when i say toddler i'm a you know we be talking about toddler the baby be like a nine month old ten month old baby i'm really not i, I don't i don't have, i really like the in-between babies i like the babies that fit like you know three to six months six to nine months that's big enough for me i'm really looking for a baby more like six to nine months now i am going to have this one baby that i hope that can fit these ones these two and I this one baby that I don't want to talk about the scope because I think people will be surprised that I actually like this scope. And so, but it's going to take me a while to get that baby done. And I want it to be rooted and everything before I show that baby. Um, and hopefully it come out the way I have planned, which come to think about, I really don't have a full plan. But all I know is that there are certain features on it that I just... I'm just dying to to get into so that is that I just thought I would um share with you guys that and just talk a little bit about my little mooka mooka here and you know I am just really feeling more relieved I'll feel even more relief after um Felix reached home to his mommy and I get to hear, you know, whether she love him, hate him, in between, impartial, you know, whatever, whatever that goes on, you know, that is going to be my second uh, poof of, you know, air. And then I have my final custom that I will be spending my whole soul and life on over the next few days. So if, you know, I be a little crabby in my responses or short guys don't take it personal because some of y'all be in y'all feelings for no reason at all like sometimes it's not about you it's always about me <laughs> okay just kidding i love y'all but y'all know sometimes i be kind of like short because i be trying to get this junk this not junk but get this stuff done because i don't want nobody to hate me like i be hating other people you know what i mean like i be trying to I be self-projecting all the time. Like, you know, like, I don't like waiting on customs. I, you know, I am a certain type of collector. So I self-project my thoughts and my emotions on other people and feel like sometimes that they're going to feel the same way. So I've had, like, some amazing customers. When I say amazing, they have been so, you know, patient, which... Just for all intent purposes, I did give them a longer timeline. So I am on time. Just just to put the record set. It is me pressuring myself. My last um, two um, customs has not given me no type of... I'm going to say this. And I, I don't want to speak too soon because, you know, you be done jinx yourself. But, you know, if it is, I'll just have to eat it. But it is what it is right now in this in this state right now. My last custom baby, mama, when I tell you I just have to come, you know, you know how you do. You, when you have, y'all you, watch moving when they take the mirror and put it under the dog nose to see if it's breathing. Listen, I have to check on her and be like, hey, you know, such and such and such. This lady has not messaged me not one time since i've had her 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 baby here not one time have she initiated a message 
I've messaged her, me and her have chatted, but she is never, when I say never, she is never like, baby. When I tell you the only pressure I've had with this baby is the fact that it was a, a pore that I don't particularly care to paint from and that it was a partial and I'm very challenged when it comes to the partials. That is my only pressure. That is my pressure. The customer in, no pressure at all. Like, I would paint 10,000 babies for her with that type of energy. Like, you know, I think more so too, and this video is so super long, so child, just click off if I don't got on y'all nerves already. Um, I think the most pressure has was for me is that I overwhelmed myself and took way too many orders at one time. I think if I was doing like one custom in between my work, my personal dolls and my work, I would have been okay. But the fact that I took about a hundred, you know, customs and had all these babies staring at me and felt like I need to get moving and didn't, I felt guilty even if I sat down and watched an hour movie or, you know, you know, took time to, to go to the store or even sometime when I slept, I felt guilty. So that I think came from me on my end. But anyway, I feel good. I feel I feel better. I'm hoping that I can get this baby hair, um, you know, rooted and that it comes out cute and be full enough. That's my main challenge right now because this needle that I'm working with is like literally picking up freaking one little tiny little strand of hair and it's just irritating my soul but we gonna we gonna we gonna work through it and I just want to get this baby some good hair some good edges and her mama be happy and dress her up cute take her pictures and send her home and then we gonna live our best life over here because I'm gonna take two weeks off guys I'm gonna try to pre-record some videos so you guys will have some videos to watch to keep my channel going um, on my last day before my vacation, but just know I will be on vacation. I will be deleting my social media for two weeks. So if you have a baby from me or, you know, we have some type of dealing, um, I'll make sure I pay all my, you know, customs or whatever orders I have out there up to date for at least two weeks. You know, I might check in with them if I feel the need to, but otherwise I will be like not on Messenger or Facebook, Instagram, none of that. So for two weeks, but I'll let y'all know ahead of time when I'm going on those two weeks. Okay. So, um, nobody don't think, oh, she mad at me about something or she acting funny. No, baby. I'm going to be on a whole staycation, vacation, 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 pop and twerk vacation. I'm going to be two weeks out. Okay. You feel me? All right. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know. What you think? I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little polka woke out because we don't normally see his little self. And um, these other two, don't forget, guys. I don't say it. I ain't gonna say it no more. I, I ain't gonna tell you no more, like your mama used to say. I ain't gonna tell you no more. Go order your Aspen and your advocate. <laughs> I will do a video, hopefully, um, of baby Abby before she goes. I just haven't really did a lot with her because she's sold and I just, I don't usually play with my babies once they sell. Okay? Alright. Bye-bye.